all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have a gold lobby but there is a catch there are two secret diamond smurfs in these teams and you guys are going to have to guess who they are i'm not going to reveal it until the end of the video so let's see are smurfs really as bad as you guys think they are can you actually spot them out let's see comment down below your guess and let's hop straight around right, here we go with round number one and it looks like Troll Patrol is going to be going for a spawn peak. We got a few spawn peaks coming out actually right now, but Troll Patrol is going to be the one to pick up that first kill. And he's going to take out the sledge for Blue Team. Defense already taking the lead 20 seconds into the round. Pretty good start. But Troll Patrol is going to be on about half HP and he's currently getting droned out. I don't think he realizes, but Lion is pushing him from this hallway but oh no warden certainly didn't realize that he'll get taken out and amy gonna pick up two big kills there lion on the flank the defenders never even saw it coming thorn's gonna get or excuse me that's gonna be well my getting droned out in the 90 hall right now as flores is trying to make his way through vip and hall of fame Let's see the jack was in a gunfight right now with the azami on this window so far no one's gonna win that but Laura's going to pick up another kill as instantly Malusi's able to refrag and take out the lion player. Claymore, Claymore through the drone hole. Smart play. Zombie trying to get an angle onto Flores who's in VIP, but he's not going to be able to just yet. Jackal now trying to pressure this hookah door as Sophia uses her impacts below to try to find the Malusi player, but they've rotated and now. The zombies rotated too, and the impact comes out. We'll do a little bit of damage, but Zofia is the one to win that. And now, Flores taking out the final remaining player for the orange team, and there it is. Attack picking up round number one. Take a look at the scoreboard. Troll Patrol leading the orange team with one kill. No real other kills besides uh, Dabov. Looking at the blue team, two frags and two frags. Not a bad round for the all right round number two is underway here and you can see troll patrol going for another spawn peak and he's gonna grab that but does he know that there's another player here sophia going for the refrag and she'll do a little bit of damage but not quite enough to take him out yet even more damage and troll patrol is now gonna fall back and try to grab the thunderbirds that d -Lop has placed in the site you can see that sledge is outside on the hookah stairs trying to drone and Maybe figure out where the Thorn player went, but they are on site healing. Player though is going to be below and they're going to be trying to find a pick on one of these players playing there and it's not going to be him. It's going to be Troll Patrol, but Milkmaker able to instantly refrag. That's the Sophia. Yana outside of VIP trying to make their way into Hall of Fame and multiple frags coming out now from both players. Orange team gonna come out on top there as Sledge is the final remaining player here. Verse three, player's gonna go back to site and get healed up. See the Rex is holding the 90 hall, ensuring that Sledge is not able to push up through the white stairs. And honestly, he's just waiting. He's got a minute and 40 seconds. That's a ton of time. He's hoping someone rotates through this. And to be honest, somebody probably will here soon. It could be the Thunderbird. Blair getting impatient though, he's gonna walk downstairs and he's gonna get punished for that. Sledge now goes for the snade. No one is there, so it will miss. But he's gonna rotate into the blue bar and go for that diffuser. Recovered the bomb diffuser. Rex still holding this 90 hall as Dilop is just in sight and the Z pings come out. Sledge is gonna nade a lot of damage onto the thorn, putting him onto about one HP. Some damage will be returned onto Sledge, but it's not much. Fortunately, she is Thunderbird, so they'll be able to heal up. Sledge, 50 seconds left. He needs to make a move here soon, but Rex is also getting impatient. He's going to push below, and this might not be the play with time dwindling. Sledge going to rotate towards the cool vibe stairs, and if he can isolate this kill, it's going to be huge. He can, and now it's just a 1v1. d -Lop trying to get some more HP, but the Thunderbirds can only do so much, and now... HP is about even. South going to run through the blue bar door and get taken out by the nade hole that he previously made. Good play by D -Lop And finally, the defense able to grab around there, tying things up to one to one.
Taking a look at the scoreboard after that round, Troll Patrol still on top for his team, three and two. The rest of his team struggling a little bit. Taking a look at the blue team though, you got a lot more frags coming out from every player. Yet again, Troll Patrol going for a spawn peak here as round number three is underway and Ying's gonna be the first victim here taking more than half of their HP. Very unfortunate. Troll Patrol even going for the hookah door spawn peak as well, playing very aggressively. For these kills but unfortunately for him not quite able to find one just yet ace is going to repel to the roof see if they can't find an angle on the troll patrol who is actually right in view of the courtyard window right now sludge gun going to re possibly repel up to the penthouse window here as it looks like ace is they're going to go for the hatch. It looks like they, the blue team is wanting to take above. They do have the sledge and the ram, as well as a fuse. So they have plenty of operators for this vertical play. But they're going to have to go through Troll Patrol and Flare first, as they are firmly holding the VIP with the wall reinforced. They're going to get droned out, and Fuse is going to use his hard breach gadgets to go ahead and open up that wall. He's trying to throw some flashes in, but is going to blind himself, unfortunately. And Debob's going to get a kill off screen. That's the Mira taking out a player onto the kitchen window. And now, player going to Oryx dash through this wall, taking massive amounts of damage from the fuse. And there it is. SCP able to take him out. You still do have another player above. That's Troll Patrol. He's going to grab a kill onto the Ying player. And now he's looking for another onto the Ram. He's going to take the shots. A little bit of damage. The Bob grabs another kill. Ace going to trade out. Troll Patrol He's going for another and he'll grab it. The mirror goes down and now it's a 2v2. Rex inside a luggage. Popping some shots through the VIP door. Going to tag Ram up just a little bit. But with a minute left, Ace and Ram, they have the operators they need to win this. And there it is. Rex going to make a mistake and... House will punish him for it. The Ram Gadget's gonna come out and open up the floor. Still plenty of time to play vertical here. Thunderbirds in sight with all of their heals as well. And you can see that's going to help out there as he takes some damage and instantly heals back up. Styles on about one HP now, though, after that interaction. And D-Lop's just gonna go prone, waiting for the attackers to push in. Ace opening up triple wall trying to push in towards service now d -Lop holding firm on the ground this is a good position for him and south isn't even with his teammate he could get this one right here south trying to go for the vertical play more he thinks that the thunderbird might be in kitchen but he's not ace walks in that's the diffuser and now it's all left to south to try to win this the hatch isn't open he's exhausted all of his ram gadgets and now with five seconds left he's forced to play vertical but unfortunately for him, d -Lop is playing in a spot that he cannot get to. And the defenders are going to win round number two. Very well played by d -Lop there. All right, we're switching sides now. So no spawn peak from Troll Patrol, but he is going to be spawn peaked by this Pulse player. And he's going to win that gunfight. Great shot by him. Leading his team here so far. He's going to rush in along with Flair, who just marooned in through Penthouse and very aggressively taking Hall of Fame here. Player pushing into the site and the thorn is has no idea that he's even there and now he has full control of the site the dock swings up he's gonna get taken out as well a couple kills coming out from the defense to try to refrag but it, it's not gonna work because it's just the, the solace below who's gonna get taken out by sledge and wow orange team on fire right now winning yet another round Here's a scoreboard for everybody who wants to see it. Troll Patrol leading six and three still. Milkmaker five and three for the blue team. All right, Amy gonna start this round with a frag. I don't even know how they got this kill, but Flair is going to be killed. I assume they Amara rushed in from the top point window and hopped over the stairs. Troll Patrol is above though, and he's gonna be fusing the site. He's gonna do a ton of damage onto Warden. And with those fuse gadgets, he also destroyed a lot of the healing. Thunderbird gonna steal that one. And unfortunately, Warden's gonna be on low HP because of that. And Troll Patrol is going to finish him off. Buck repelled on the VIP balcony, trying to grab an angle into the kitchen window. But he's gonna come upstairs and try to help Fuse finish off the floor. 
SCP gonna grab a kill as I don't even know how they got that angle again Amy with another kill as well as they flank up through VIP and now another kill from South blue team fighting back they don't want to lose this game it's all left to troll patrol so far the best player for orange team minute and 40 seconds left Thorn on this hatch trying to grab the angle plenty of time for troll patrol to figure out an attack plan here Amy is rotated upstairs to try to cut him off and now Thorn below in lobby is going to go grab the headshot unfortunately for the orange team troll patrol will go down and they are going to win another round ensuring they do not lose this game just yet all right we're gonna have an aggressive rush here on round number six as d lop and troll patrol are gonna rush through the top of white stairs and d gonna grab that first kill into amy and unfortunately south is going to disconnect so it's already a 5v3 the yings go out the smokes go out as well flares got the glass d grabs another kill Devon throwing his flashes in. d rushing into sight from the back is going to almost knife the Mew who's in the corner. Somehow SCP is also still alive and grabs a kill to Troll Patrol. Now it's an even 2v2. How did that even just happen? Rex and Flair, the last two remaining players, and they're going to be hookah side, and they could actually try to take the site. Neither players are in hookah right now. Rex is going to be droning that out and probably calling that they can take the site. Flair is also trying to grab some information and looks like they realize it's probably time to push into the site. Flair is going to do just that. Thorn Gadget goes off, almost running into the, the frost mat right there. Mute's going to grab that kill through the wall. And now it's all left to Rex, who's outside of the Kuka door. Air jabs going in. Minute and 30 seconds. He's got time, but he's going to walk in and pre-fire. Miss those shots, but the air jab will knock him back. Flashbang goes in not going to affect him unfortunately but the second will scp gonna be tasked with dealing with this as rex tries to push deeper into the site mute holding close to the shotgun they've got the diffuser inside of aqua so they do have the site but they do need to take the diffuser store minute and 10 seconds to do it the thorn trap goes off he's stuck in barbed wire and there it is thorn grabbing that kill from the grave and blue team tying things up we are going to ot all right we are in ot and thorn's going to be trying to do this spawn peak here on the aqua bow jack we're going to take a little bit of damage thorn re-swings missing these shots and warden's coming to join the battle and he's going to grab that kill Mick milkmaker able to finally secure that spawn peak good start here for the blue team player trying to throw some grenades in through that big window but that is going to miss and well orange team in a rough spot they do not seem to have much of a coordinated push right now and milkmaker is going to take out flares he tries to solo push onto the aqua balcon the orange team is falling apart because they're not playing together here troll patrol droning out the luggage hall spotting milkmaker and oh no azami impacting ward in there fortunately though they do have a dock so as soon as they get back to site they will be able to heal him up in the meantime, though, Troll Patrol narrowly taking out that dock as they're inside of Kitchen along with d -Lop. And it looks like Rex is going to be dropping into Hall of Fame right now. Troll Patrol able to grab a kill onto that dock. But fortunately, he was at least able to heal the Warden. But it won't matter if you get headshot in. Troll Patrol wins that gunfight and trying to push this rotate, but it's scuffed. The flashbang is going to blind him a little bit. Rex goes down. d -Lop still holding below. Jaeger behind the bomb. Troll Patrol pushing up. He's going to grab those shots. And now it's Azami and Thorn. There's Rava and Finca. Troll Patrol planting. They do have the HP advantage here. The blue team does. Azami pushing up. Trying to find the angle onto the Thorn player. Or excuse me, the Finca player. He's going to find that. And now Thorn pushing into the hookah rotate. Where is Troll Patrol though? He's inside of the smoke. He's 2-2-king it. Now it's a 1v1. SCP trying to push into Hookah. The Troll Patrol playing on this reinforcement. He's just trying to waste time. The shots go out. Troll Patrol with an ace to win round number seven and put his team on match point. Here's the scoreboard for you guys. SCP and Milkmaker tied for first place. Both having seven kills for the blue team. 
Troll Patrol is certainly carrying the orange team right now. 12 and 5. All right, here we go with what could be the last round of the game. Troll Patrol going for his spawn pick, and he's going to find it. He almost finds two. He is going to find two. And Flair with another kill as well. The blue team completely falling apart in 15 seconds of the round. Unbelievable. Sledge outside on the hookah bow, trying to find this kill onto the Arunian site, but it's not going to work for him. Zero on the roof, trying to... Get these cams into the site and he's gonna realize it's pretty much clear but there is a player inside of luggage that's trying to take him out rooney swinging the hookah door and he will be punished for that this house able to pick up a kill and now zero trying to find rex who is inside of luggage just prone on this wall right now two minutes left so the attackers technically have plenty of time to bring this back Player trying to find this angle onto Sledge. Ooh, both players able to hit some shots, but Flair definitely taking a lot more damage. But fortunately, he is able to at least heal up. South will be unable to do that. He's going to throw those needs into the site, but it's going to miss, unfortunately. Zero still trying to work some cams from the roof. But he's going to drop close to D-Lop as well as Troll Patrol, who are holding Penthouse as well as VIP right now. Rex back on site trying to find the angle onto Sledge who just got a kill onto a Rooney. Good stuff for the blue team. They're doing their best to tear this back, but Zero unfortunately deciding to solo push into two players. He'll get punished for that. And now it's all left to South to 1v3. He hears reinforcements going up. Potentially going to try to push off of that. That's going to be Rex on the hookah stairs. Oh, he might be able to find the headshot right there, and he can at least find the down. No diffuser in hand, but oh no. Rex able to get rezzed off of that Thunderbird, and he's going to escape on practically one HP. Troll Patrol, 14 and 5 right now inside of Penthouse, attempting to stop Sal's from clutching this round. 25 seconds, Sludge going to be forced to rotate below, trying to find that player that went down there before, but... He's all the way in blue bar at the moment. 15 seconds. No time to do anything else. Sludge going to be forced to rush into Hookah. And Troll Patrol is there to take him out. Orange team going to win 5 to 3. Troll Patrol leading his team 15 to 5. SCP and Milkmaker as well as South all tied on the blue team. Going 7 kills. Good fight for the blue team, but I think their coordination was just not there and they were not able to quite win the round just yet. All right, so the big reveal for the blue team, the diamond player was South. For the orange team, the diamond player was Troll Patrol. I think that was pretty obvious. He had a pretty good game. Make sure you guys have let me know what your guesses were down in the comments. We're going to go for another map with new diamond players. So if you guessed wrong this time, stay tuned for map number two with new diamond players. I'll see you there. All right. All right, here we go with round number one. You can see K Volo is trying to push the front door right now as Dav is below on the Warden. He's got this prep to be able to run out fast if he needs to, and that's exactly what he's going to do. But Nesto going to grab a great C4 onto James through the floor. Good pre-placed with that Valk. Very well played. Abana going to start opening up this bar wall now so that they can make entry into the bomb site. And unfortunately for the defense, they don't have anything on that wall to stop it, it looks like. Dav is still below trying to find a kill and EJ with the iron sights SMG trying to find some frags onto that study balcony but both of these players are taking a little bit of damage now as Z theory is pushing up through red stairs will find the kill onto the mute he's gonna walk into sight now trying to find the kill into Solus as well but he won't be able to that Solus player able to take out Habana now Sin gonna grab a kill into Dav. That is the Warden player going down, and he's gonna push up. 
but will unfortunately be finished off by phantom z theory in the 90 hall right now he's trying to link up with his teammate looks like they're going to be trying to push this door ash going to open that up for him so that Kevolo could grab a better angle but Solus is actually going to push up out of that Ash Breach and pick up that frag onto the Iana. So it's all left to Z-Theory, who's rotated into maps now. He's going to find the kill on the dock, making things a 1v2. But he's going to have to go through Nesto, who's holding close on the door. He's going to find that kill as well. And Phantom, with the flank, will take out Z-Theory. Good round from the defense. Take a look at the scoreboard. We can see that Phantom is firmly on top with that 4k and... Z theory doing pretty good as well with that 3k all right here we go with round number two phantom's trying to find a spawn peak here on this front door he might actually be able to do it ziana is pushing over that way <clears throat> okay volo repelled on the astro window right now but he is going to be shot away from it and it looks like phantom did actually engage the yana here who lost a lot of hp but Fortunately, he'll be able to rotate up to the red stairs and take out James, who was inside of study. And now, for some reason, Azami running the shotgun here inside of Master, trying to hold down Master itself. Weird strategy. Okay, Volo gonna hop in through bathroom though and find a little bit of damage onto the Jaeger player. No head holes, so he won't be able to peek into the site just yet. I think you're gonna hop in with him as well but oh no here we go c4 from below pulse is gonna throw that out and two big kills come out from nesto most of his kills now actually all of his kills coming from c4s underneath very impressive z theory trying to push into bathroom but he's gonna be confronted by jaeger who is playing inside of astro and nesto is gonna rotate up as well on that pulse he's trying to quick peek and find the frag onto the iq he gets a few shots, but not enough to finish him off. Iana going to be taken out by Phantom, who swings on that Solus, and there it is. Jaeger able to take out Z Theory in a flawless round from the Orange team. All right, here's the scoreboard for you guys. Phantom, once again, still firmly in first place. 6-0 and right now, playing extremely well. Z Theory on top for his team with three kills but take a look at the blue team they are struggling in the kills department here all right round number three is underway and nomad's gonna get extremely aggressive hopping in through bathroom joined by z theory and sin here on the maverick they're gonna be trying to take this north side of the map but phantom is trying to stop them from doing so the top frag for orange team Trying to stop this push, but here come the ram gadgets. James able to open up a lot of the floor, giving them access to view into the site. And well, Nomad's going to use that to pick up a kill onto the lesion. Trying to throw some air jabs on the flank, but Solus is going to be there. And somehow, Solus whiffs those shots. Won't be able to finish off Nomad just yet, but they are going to get downed. I believe from Alibi, who is, or actually, I don't even know how they got down, but either way, DJ is going to grab a kill onto Z Theory. Phantom's going to push in, and he's going to find both of these kills onto the blue team. And now it's all left to James as Kevolo gets taken out. A 1v4 here. Minute and 20 seconds. He's got time, but really, is that enough here? Not a great setup from the defenders, so he's able to actually push in without too many crossfires, but they're all going to be aggressively rushing him now. James in a good spot to grab this kill to DJ. Going for the second, but Phantom will take him out. And another round for the Orange team. Taking a look at the scoreboard for the Orange team. Phantom leading 9-0 right now. Nesto in second place, 3-1. The blue team still struggling with kills right now, but Z Theory is going to be leading 3-3 three three right now. James gonna get a little aggressive on the study balk here trying to fight this twitch drone <laughs> but nobody is gonna be there quite yet we do have buck below right now potentially gonna be trying to open up the floor there is a player directly above him okay volo maybe looking to flank down and stop him but z are gonna grab that kill to phantom who amaro's in through the 90 hall window dav gonna be put on extremely low hp 
two minutes left on the clock the attack is already down one player and it looks like we're having some server lag oh i don't know what just happens i'm still in the game i think i've never had this error before that is for sure dapper look at my screen <laughs> right so ladies and gentlemen uh i have no idea what's happening I've never had this bug before. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and restart the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we went ahead and redid that round since my game bugged out. So orange team still leading three to zero right now, and an interesting mirror setup coming out from the blue team here. The scoreboard unfortunately did reset, but if you remember, I believe Phantom was on top for the orange team, followed by Nesto. And I kind of forget the orange team to be really honest, but looks like Phantom is going to be continuing to get these frags as he pushes up the red stairs and he's going to find at least one kill going for the second. Mira actually somehow not taking any damage there and Phantom aggressively pushing into the 90 hall somehow able to grab that kill. Okay, Volo rotating up through Astro seeing if he can't flank and he can. He'll grab that kill onto DJ using his ability to dodge that flashbang and now Phantom pushing into the site will be taken out by Z Theory, but Nesto's in as well, and he won't miss. He grabs a kill into Mira. Okay, Volo refrags, and now the 2v1 as Bob is downed inside of a frost mat. Okay, Volo's gonna finish that off, but Nesto will immediately refrag. Now it's a 1v1. Okay, Volo pushing in towards maps right now. Nesto gonna throw out a drone, trying to find where he is, but this could be bad timing. Warden's gonna run in and Kevolo wins that round, ensuring that the blue team stays in it for another round. Yeah. All right, Nesto gonna be repelling up to the master balcony, trying to push this bathroom window. There's a few players that are nearby, Alibi and the Mute, just running by the window at the moment. And Ace might be able to grab a kill. He's gonna swing and miss. Goes for the drone instead, trying to get some actual good information. Playing more on the drone hall. This could actually get Sin here. He's not paying attention to that whatsoever. Nesto rotating over to the closet window. With the help of DJ now, who is on that bathroom window. Mute stuck in the closet now. Could be a bad position considering that they do have two sets of nades on the team. But one set goes down as James finds that kill onto Phantom. And now only the only nades the attack has are on Sledge. So if they want to get mute out of here, it's going to be tough. Bob's going to pick up a kill onto Z Theory. So Frost goes down. Dave's going to take a lot of damage as he gets traded out. Bob gets another kill. Mute going to find one frag in the closet as well. So we're at a 3v2. Bob and Nesto very separated from each other right now. Looks like they could potentially lose this round as James is going to push up through the main stairs and take out bob now it's all left to nesto who's on the bedroom window right now trying to find this kill onto the mute he's gonna try to take some shots at him but both players are going to miss a minute left so plenty of time for nesto to make some plays here but with where mute's playing it's gonna be very difficult for him to actually take closet and master Both players waiting for the other to swing right now. 50 seconds. C4 goes out and will miss. James all the way over in study trying to find an angle onto Nesto, but he's going to rotate off now, opting to go underneath instead. He's going to hear that. Try to shotgun, but nowhere near his location. With only 30 seconds, Nesto is going to be practically forced to push up through the Astro stairs, taking out the cam. He's gonna push up the staircase now as Stock's here to try to stop him and he'll grab those kill or that kill and Nestor goes down. Blue team winning yet another round, almost tying things up. Three to three. All right, round number six is underway and DJ is gonna be trying to push in through laundry right now, but there's gonna be a castle in his way and it looks like Sin's gonna be taking a lot of damage on that dock. I believe there was a person outside of the mud window. I think it was the ace here. But fortunately, he'll be able to heal back up to full HP. 
Bob going to be trying to hop in through Master right now. It's warning grabs to kill on the Phantom, but fortunately, Bob's able to instantly refrag. Doc pushing up to try to help. He's going to go for that frag, but a lot of missed shots will come out. Bob's going to be the one to win that gunfight, but a trade comes out as James picks up another kill on the Dav. 3v3. James is fighting for his life upstairs. Bob's going to swing and he'll grab the headshot. 3v2 now. Blue team starting to be in a rough spot. Buck is still alive, so Nestor will be able to open up this floor and potentially grab another kill. DJ going to be inside of Pantry right now, opening up that castle barricade. And with the cover of Nesto from above, it's going to be very difficult for these defenders to hold Kitchen. DJ throwing out some gridlocks. His castle is close to the shotgun and he'll grab that kill. But Nesto grabs one as well. So it's a 1v2. Both players now on this castle door into China. I believe the wall is open though, so they could take that route instead if they wanted to, but castle has got a pretty good angle on it at the moment. Minute left, so they've got time to rotate or go above if they wanted to. Two smokes and three flashes as well. A lot of damage on Ernesto though. He's going to be put on about 1 HP and with Bob on about 20 HP as well. Looks like Castle's in a pretty good spot to win this. Nesto's going to go for the drone. Confirming that the castle is playing behind the A-bomb. Now, they're going to try to go in behind the cover of this Osa shield. As Castle's forced to push further back into dining. 25 seconds. Both attacking players now in the site. Trying to see if they could find this kill. No diffuser in hand, so they actually won't even be able to plant. And there it is. Nesto through the wall will find that kill on the castle. GG's. Orange team going to win 4-2. to two. Unfortunately, because of the reset, we don't have the total number of kills for everybody. But Bob Ross and Nesto on top for the orange team. Kevolo and James on top for the blue team. So let's get into... Who exactly were the two Diamond Smurfs here? So, for the blue team, the Diamond Smurf was, let's get in here, Kvolo. For the orange team, the Diamond Smurf was Nesto. Let me know if you guys got those right down in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Like the video if you made it this far. Make sure you guys join my Discord server if you want to play in these videos. It's completely free. The link is down below in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.